everyone, this is Travis Quadlander here at Rush Truck Center's Dallas Peterbilt. And today we are looking at a beautiful, tantalizing turquoise 2024 Peterbilt 389 with 78 inch platinum sleeper. Yes, this is color is called tantalizing turquoise. And this truck is available on our lot, ready to roll right now. I don't think this truck is going to last long. I put a couple kind of uh, early photos of this truck once it arrived without the hubs and lugs and was already generating some buzz. And man, this is a really cool, unique color. Again, this is a tantalizing turquoise is the name of the color. We've done turquoise. We've done wild turquoise. We've done desert turquoise. I've only seen us do one other uh, truck in this tantalizing turquoise. So this is gonna be a very unique color. It's gonna be one of those colors that you'll pull into the fuel islands and the truck shows and the truck stops and everyone's gonna say, oh man, that's a beautiful truck. That's a beautiful color. I had one that same color back in such and such. Well, appreciate the compliment, but odds are they probably didn't have this color because it is very unique. Like I said, I've only seen us do one other 389 in this color. Um, again, this truck is on the ground, ready to roll. Uh, we've got this truck available. We've also got uh, a couple other trucks, mainly that uh, legendary black with Viper Red frame uh, 389. We have multiple of those units, and I think we still have a couple of the white 579 Ultra Lofts with the uh, Cummins engines and the uh, electric APUs available. So great opportunity to get some trucks while the factory is sold out. In case you have not heard, uh, this is the last year for the 389, so this is a great opportunity to get a 389 while they're still available from the factory. Um, again, factory is sold out. We do not have any available build dates. Um, so if you do want to get a 389 for the last year, this would be a great opportunity. Go ahead and uh, jump right into the uh, factory specs. Sorry for any of the wind noise. Uh, again, 2024 Peterbilt 389 with a 78-inch platinum sleeper. This has a Cummins X15 Performance Series engine, 565 horsepower, 1850 pound-feet of torque, paired to an Eaton Fuller 18-speed Ultra Shift Plus automated transmission. That's right. Those of you that are looking for an automated transmission, that's a rare combination on these 389s. This is a great opportunity to get one. Um, in case you have not heard me say before, that Ultra Shift Plus automated transmission that's the same thing as the uh, RTLO uh, manual transmission that's uh, Eaton Floor has made for a long time. Uh, it's tried and true. They add a box onto it to make an automated transmission. Um, so this is a really nice truck, spec very nicely, platinum interior, um, all aluminum wheels, all disc brakes. We've got a air ride front suspension and the low air leaf rear suspension. Uh, again, all aluminum wheels, all disc brakes. We've got Continental tires, uh, Low Pro 22.5 all the way around with the 336 gear ratio. So that 336 with that automated transmission is going to give you a nice mix of fuel efficiency, but still be able to pull the hills without having to downshift too much. Of course, that automated transmission is going to be able to downshift for you very easily beautiful color. It's a hot Texas summer day. Thankfully, we've got a cool color. Hope us, hopefully makes us uh, have some cooler thoughts and maybe some uh, cooler uh, time in the pool or cooler beverages once this day is over with. Some really cool, unique specs on this truck. It does have the factory 7-inch dual exhaust with the 60-inch tips, and those are the uh, 45 degree bends, that's not the typical miter tip or curved tip, that's the 45 degree bend. Cool, unique feature about that tr this truck. Also, on the marker lights, we spec'd it with the uh, five rectangular marker, marker lights. That's a really unique feature that you're not going to see on the 389s. If you don't like that, you want to swap, uh, swap them out to the uh, bullet style, we can do that for you, that's not a problem. Factory stainless steel visor old school moto mirrors, power and heat, 15 inch premium stainless steel breathers with the uh, Peterbilt ovals, not the round holes. So these are the nicest breathers you can get from the factory. 
take a look at that beautiful color. Really, really cool color. Again, true dual exhaust. You can see the Y pipe right there. Stainless steel cover over the def tank. 110 gallons of fuel on the driver's side, 150 gallons of fuel on the passenger side. No toolboxes, so it gives you that stretched look. We did do the deck plate access uh, just on the driver's side, so that gives you the step right here and the grab handles right here. So the horizontal grab handle and the one vertical grab handle went with the uh, shorter Calif California style fairings. Again, it's gonna give it more of a stretched look with that. Low air leaf rear suspension. Spec this one with a Jost or Jost, I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, with what is the correct pronunciation on that fifth wheel with an air slide. Anybody remember that game Joust on Atari back in the day? That was a lot of fun. Shout out to the Joneses letting us play on their Atari at their house back in the day. A lot of fond memories. Stainless steel mud flap hangers, spring loaded of course. Went with the uh, oval backup and tail lights mounted inside the frame on this truck. Again, no toolbox on this passenger side. Tons of frame space in case you want to add an APU or a blower or wet kit, anything like that. And the uh, 150 gallons of fuel over here on the uh, passenger side. Give you a look at this color in the shade a little bit so you can see how it looks. Not in the direct sunlight, again. Beautiful color, really unique. Probably aren't gonna see one out there on the road like it. There'll be similar colors, but again, I've only seen us do one other one in tantalizing turquoise. Went with the uh, 18 inch Texas style bumper. This is the largest bumper that you can get from the factory. Of course, our characteristic stamped oval steel grill. Really nice truck. We haven't done any dress up to the truck other than hubs, lugs, uh, antennas, floor mats, and added a train horn to the truck already. Uh, you can take her as is. She looks beautiful as is, or if you wanna dress her up, we're happy to dress her up for you as well. Taking inside a look inside the interior, we've got a platinum interior. Another one that we did with a Saharan tan, which is a unique color. Typically you're gonna see the Arctic gray. We also opted for the rubber floor here in the cab and the carpet in the sleeper. So you won't have to worry about getting the, the floor dirty on the uh, cab. Very easy to uh, clean it out, but you'll have the comfort of putting your feet on a carpet in the sleeper whenever you're back there. Again, this is on a 280 inch wheelbase. No toolboxes. Truck has a stamped weight of 18,326 pounds. We do have a Sears leather seats. Uh, these are not the Atlas 80. I can't remember if these are the Sears Premium or the Sears Atlas 70. I always get that mixed up. Whichever one it is, it's the one that allows you to do the uh, swing back armrests, which is a nice feature that you do get and is not available on the uh, Atlas 80. Probably my one complaint about the Atlas 80 is you don't get the uh, swing back armrests. When we spec this one out, we spec it with the swing back armrests. Taking a look inside the cab, of course, there's your all new digital dash. We've got 45 miles on the ticker, so the next owner will be the first person to sleep, sneeze in it. Got the uh, leather smart wheel with the cruise control, stereo controls, Bluetooth controls, and your digital dash controls right there on the steering wheel. All gauges in the B panel, no navigation. We have a kingpin release right here on the, uh, on the dash. That's a unique feature that you have on here. 
And of course, no gear shift taking up space in between the seats as we've got the uh, automated gear shift controls right here on that stock coming off the steering column. Very easy to use. Take a look at the sleeper. Again, this is a 78 inch platinum sleeper. We did not do the additional storage cabinets, but you do still have the storage cabinets on either side of the sleeper right here. Those are a lot deeper than the ones on the back that are optional. So there's that. Still plenty of storage space. We just didn't do the additional ones going along the back side of the sleeper. Of course, we did go with the premium mattress. A must, in my opinion. No business center, so you've got two full-size closets in here. You can customize however you like. We did spec this truck with a bunk heater. Obviously, no need for the bunk heater today here in Texas. I think the high is like 100 or 102. It's pretty hot. Factory fridge. Here's a good look at the view inside the cab. Does make going to and from the cabin sleeper a bit easier with those swing back armrests. And of course, that is the best view in trucking. All you gotta do is just point that Peterbilt wing on the horizon and keep on trucking. Let's go ahead and take a look underneath the hood. And there's a look at our beautiful Cummins X15 Performance Series engine. Got the 565 horsepower and 1850 pound-feet of torque. So not as much as the ho oh, 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 20, 50 pound feet of torque, but the compromise is you get better fuel efficiency with the lower torque. Did go with our Davco 382 upgraded fuel water separator. And of course, that ride like a cloud, air ride front suspension. And as I said previously, all aluminum wheels and all disc brakes. Again, Peterbilt is the only manufacturer that makes a class eight truck with an all aluminum hood, which makes it very easy for me to open and close this hood one handed while I'm filming. Don't worry, I'll latch the other side before we park it or before it goes down the road. But there's a look at our beautiful tantalizing turquoise 2024. Peterbilt 389 with 78 inch platinum sleeper. This truck is available right here at Rush Truck Center's Dallas Peterbilt. Give me a call. My name is Travis Quadlander. My cell is 817-504-7220. Hablo Espanol, Puerto Rico, Marme, 817, 504 720 Or come see us at Rush Truck Center's Dallas Peterbilt right here in Irving, Texas off of Loop 12 and Union Bauer. Um, again, this truck is available. It is the last year for the 389, so this is a great opportunity to get one uh, as the factory is sold out and they're not gonna be making them after December. Um, we also have a couple other trucks available, mainly that legendary black with Viper red frame, uh, Peterbilt 389, that has an 18-speed manual transmission. For those of you that do not want an automated transmission, that's a great, tr great spec truck. Uh, if you want something more aerodynamic, fuel efficient, larger sleeper, we do have the white 2024 Peterbilt 579 Ultra Loft with a Cummins X15 engine, automated transmission, and electric APU. So some really nice trucks, great specs um, that are available and a great opportunity to get something uh, as the factory is completely sold out. Want to thank everyone in the trucking industry for keeping our country running while we need you the most. 
Um, I uh, really appreciate everything that you do. Um, you really are the backbone of our country. You are underappreciated, but we're gonna do the best that we can to support you, appreciate you, and love on you. Uh, give me a call, I'd love to uh, put your name on this truck. Again, we can customize it as much, much as you like in our body shop, or if you think she's ready to work as is, she's a beautiful rig. Uh, she's ready to be busting bugs headed down the highway. Look forward to hearing from you. Drive safe.